Hey everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be doing another one of my weekly cherry picker videos. Now what that means is we take an in-depth look at one specific American coin often found in pocket change, circulation, maybe collections as well, that has a potential on a few of those coins for an error abnormality that's going to make the coin worth a lot more than its regular purchasing power. The one that we're going to be doing that with today is the 1964D Lincoln Memorial Penny. I have one right here. This doesn't have the error, but it will be a good way to show you on a 64D Penny where to look for this error. Then after that, we'll go to a PowerPoint presentation, at which point I will tell you the values of the coin, as well as show you some real errors on the 64D penny so you know exactly what to look for and you're equipped to go and find some yourself. So let's get into the video. And here we have the 1964D penny. Now this one doesn't have an error, but if there is going to be one, it'll be in the D mint mark and it'll be a repunched mint mark error. So what that means is they've added a second mint mark often because the first one doesn't really take and i'll show you some photos of what it would look like if it had the repunched mint mark and then we can also go over the values in different conditions and here we have the different styles of repunched mint marks on the 1964d penny and as you can see there's a lot of different ones but I'll just highlight a couple of them. This one is a north and slight tilt in the spread. This one's definitely going to be a more north-south one uh, with the protrusion majorly in the south part of the mint mark. And then here is a bit of a western spread, just a little bit of the left bar uh, protruding on the side. Now, in terms of values, they're not crazy. Um, it's about $3 for a AU55 find, $10 for Mint State 63, and $25 to $40 for the Mint State 65 examples. So there's not a ton there, but it is fun to just search for these. Uh, and if you're cherry picking every coin, still want to be looking out for the repunch mint marks on the 1964D penny, as well as pretty much most of the Denver Mint pennies from maybe 1959 to 1980. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to get in touch with me, do so on my website, treasuretownyt.com, my Instagram, treasuretownyt, or my Facebook, Treasure Town. I've got links in the description, and I'll see you on some of my other videos.